Good. It's on. Oh, right, okay. Um, what was your reaction when you were first told about the type of cancer that you had? Uh, well, the way I was told was um, during examinations for a hernia. Um, the surgeon insisted I didn't have a hernia, although I subsequently proved him wrong. Um, but he said the prostate cancer which I had was at an extremely early stage uh, and I said well what treatment is, in, is likely to be involved and he said well at this stage none because it's that early it's just a case of monitoring. Um, I was told that I also had a lymphoma which when I saw that particular specialist for that he said he'd never actually seen one at such an early stage that was just for monitoring Okay. And that one is still being monitored. Um, next question. Um, how did you feel this would affect my mum and sister? Uh, well, I, at the time I wasn't sure how it would affect them, uh, but when I told them, mm. um, your mum was upset at first, mm. uh, but when I explained, the level of the cancer and the fact that at the time no treatment was necessary, mm -hmm. um, she accepted it. Your sister, a bit more pragmatic, mm -hmm. just said, well, what's going to be done about it? And I said, well, at the moment nothing, it's just a case of monitoring, so she accepted that. Um, question three, um, at what point were you told about the treatment you had to have and what were your general feelings about this? Um, well, I had a, finally got a hernia repair op operation in 2013, mm -hmm. in September, and not long after that um, I was told that my PSA level was elevated to a of 14 plus, which was um, which put it in the aggressive um, region, mm. and that I would need um, aggressive treatment. Um, the surgeon who saw me about my prostate, uh, saw me about my hernia, um, said, "Well, the." treatment we can give you is um, surgery to remove the prostate mm -hmm. and he said uh, that would be he said that would also mean a course of radiotherapy at the end of it and I said well what sort of after effects or side effects from surgery would I have and he said well the most common one is um, having to wear a catheter for a while with a colostomy bag. I said, how long would that go on? He says, well, it could be two months, three months, six months, twelve months. So I just said, well, it's not going to look very good in shorts, is it? And he just didn't understand the connection. Um, I then went to see the uh, specialist for radiotherapy, which was the other option. Mm. And he, because I was going to have to have radiotherapy with the surgery. Mm. I thought, well, I'm told radiotherapy can do it on its own. So I went to see that specialist and he explained um, the necessary treatment. Mm. And I plumped for that because it meant no invasive surgery. Uh, I was told of the um, after effects. Mm which I accepted um, and at this stage I am getting over the tail end of the after effects of the treatment. Right, um, question four is in two parts so you'll have to spare me. Um, first part is uh, who did you feel the news of your cancer affected more? 
Well, that's quite simple to answer. Mm. You were the one most affected. Mm. Yeah, I was, yeah. Uh, you were really upset. Mm. Yeah, I can remember when you told me and Lydia, and I remember it vividly what my reaction was. My face was in my hands, and I was like, mm. crying, yeah. But I think I did say, well, I'm not going to cut and uh, cut my toes just yet. No. Um, <clears throat> I did try and make it as easy for you as I could, mm. um, because it's me that well, it's me that had it. Yeah. Um, and it was going to be a case of um, live with it for the time being. Mm. Um, well, this makes this question probably a bit more easier for you. Um, how did you feel this changed me? Um, as a person throughout the whole experience? Um, well, overall, you've been a lot more concerned about my welfare. Mm. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, you've been a bit more sensitive, well, a lot more sensitive to um, other people's well-being. Mm. Okay. Um, last... Last question, um, which again is in two parts. Um, how did you feel when receiving the all clear? Uh, well, regarding the prostate, um, I was glad that it was all over and that it had been worthwhile. Mm. And that was basically it. Mm. Um, do you think the whole experience has changed your own outcome or perspective on life? No. No. No, because mm. I've always taken life as it comes. Okay. One day you can be given a bar of chocolate, the next day you can get kicked in the backside. Mm. Just take it as it comes. Okay, thank you. That's it. Mm -hmm.